The next great event which will be discussed is when a person enters their grave. Chapter 20 Taha, verse 55. From it, i.e. the earth we created you, and into it we will return you, and from it we will extract you another time. Many verses and narrations of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, discuss this stage which all people will face in some form or fashion. As it is inevitable, Muslims must prepare for it, as the light or darkness of the grave does not come from the grave itself. It is one's deeds which either darkens or illuminates their grave. Similarly, it is one's deeds which will determine if they face punishment or mercy in their grave. The only way to prepare for it is through obeying Allah, the Exalted, which consists of fulfilling the commands of Allah, the Exalted, refraining from his prohibitions and facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This will ensure one uses the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted. Muslims often journey to cemeteries in order to bury their relatives and friends. But very few truly realize that one day, sooner or later, their turn will come. Even though, the majority of Muslims dedicate the majority of their efforts to pleasing their family and earning wealth over pleasing Allah, the Exalted, through righteous deeds, a narration found in Jami, a T. Me Z, number 2379, warns that these two things which Muslims give priority to, will abandon them at their grave and only their deeds will remain with them. Therefore, it makes sense for a Muslim to give priority to obtaining righteous deeds, to pleasing their family and obtaining excess wealth. This does not mean one should abandon their family and wealth. But it means they should fulfill their duty to their family according to the teachings of Islam, without going overboard by neglecting their duties to Allah, the Exalted, and only obtain the worldly things, such as wealth, they require to achieve this. When this is done correctly, it becomes a righteous deed as well. This is confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 4006. One should never abandon their duties to Allah, the Exalted, for the sake of worldly things, such as their family or wealth, as this will only cause them to misuse the blessings they have been granted. This in turn will lead to an isolated, lonely and dark grave. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts and blogs available on our website, www.shakepod.com.